Meditate as much as you can, even one minute, two minutes, every time, just meditate all day. You know, whenever you can. You know, during break at work, go to the toilet, meditate anytime, eating, meditate, drinking, meditate all the time. Okay? Mm. Always remember God in heaven. Because this period is a period of grace now, and whatever you do will be paid, you know, rewarded hundredfolds more. Okay? Yeah, especially in the center. There will be heaven gates and heaven blessing and heaven portals. Yeah. All will be. A uh, question on the five names. Uh, a sister told me recently that it's best to, to recite them very, very slowly. And I don't recall you ever saying that or if there's a certain time. Like in meditation, she was saying to spend half an hour going through the five names one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've n no. never heard. Okay. No. You recite as slow as you want, okay? Like every two, three minutes at interval, because you also need to concentrate. You don't want to keep making it too fast, you know? You want to concentrate and do it leisurely. That's what it means, okay? Yes, but not half an hour, one name. Is. The God will keep waiting. <laughs> when is my turn? <laughs> On next half an hour? <laughs> my the thing is, the more you stay awake, the more spiritual points you have. Even just stay awake and think about meditation. <laughs> think that I want to meditate. And you think all over the country, but still, <laughs> still you are awake and meditate, you know, in, in, your, in, your, in your heart, you want to. That's also earned you a lot of merit. Surprise? Yes. Yeah, it's like that. Just be awake at night. Yeah? Mm. That's the, the time when most blessing coming, yes. And if you are more awake, that means your soul is still here, you know, not gone away. And it receives blessing into the soul, understand? If the soul is elsewhere, then maybe in other world or, or just, uh, <laughs> just not aware, then... Uh, the Surely, if we don't have spiritual food, it doesn't matter what we eat. It will never satisfy us, mentally and physically. Therefore, <laughs> therefore we keep uh, getting hunger and hunger, yeah, hungry and hungry again and again. And even we eat a lot of nice food and vitamin, we still get sick and sometimes uh, distressed, yeah, and indigestion. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is mentioned that. Um, the food which was prepared for offering to God first, and then we eat it, it should be very, uh, I'll say, nutritious and full of blessing for us. If, however, we prepare the food just for personal satisfaction, then we truly make mistake, and that will give us a lot of uh, unsatisfaction and sometimes trouble. Indigestion and all that, because actually in the Bhagavad Gita it says stronger than this. Say very strongly that you eat in sin. You, you don't offer first to God. So it's not me who spoke like that. Huh? It's Krishna. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> now, same is not only food. Uh, all of you know the Bhagavad Gita or not? I said the Indian people, all the people know Bhagavad Gita? You don't know? That's the book of wisdom of ancient India. It's about 5,000 years old. Is that not so, Maji? Yeah, yes, yes. <coughs> and it was spoken by the Supreme Master of that time, Krishna, the beloved black beauty. <laughs> Is that right? He was black and beautiful, right? <laughs> No, we call him dark beautiful, right? <laughs> Is that the one or the other one? Krishna was, huh? Was it? His complexion was so dark, you know, like many Indian people. But he's so beautiful and handsome that the people call him heartbreaker also. Because he breaks everybody's heart when he leaves. <laughs> and whenever, wherever he goes, people love him, adore him, and make offering to him, and just follow him madly, madly. 
I heard that he has about 70,000 wives. Or, no, 16,000 no, 16, wives. Well, the Indian people sometimes exaggerate things, but <laughs> he must have a lot of followers, you know, a lot of followers. It's not really wives, you know, disciples. Mostly, uh, probably, mostly are women, because probably he was very handsome. I, I heard, you know, I wasn't there. <laughs> Maybe I was there, but I forgot. <laughs> so the Bhagavad Gita is a record of, of the teaching of the Master, yeah? Krishna. Mm. So now, you can find much wisdom and uh, guidance in this book. I still look at it from time to time. Uh, I still do, yes, because it's be very beautiful, concentrate, and wise. Yes. Sometimes you get solace and uh, calmness by reading that book. If you truly understand and digest it, it is a wonderful masterpiece of wisdom. Mm. <clears throat> Many of uh, the masters of the past had connection with Indian law. Therefore, we could not, not to mention India and the Bhagavad Gita. Yes. Even Milarepa, you know, the, the great uh, yogi of Tibet? Yeah, you know? Or should I uh, tell another story again? You know, huh? The disciples should know Milarupa, no? I told many stories. Okay, now, even he, uh, that great yogi of Tibet, his possession consisted of, uh, you know, maybe a pot and the Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> now, in that book, it is mentioned not only the food, that we should first prepare it in the spirit of offering to God before we take it. But everything else we do in life must be an offering, must be a sacrifice to the Supreme Spirit. In that case, we will never reap any bad or any good result out of that. Because bad result or good result by... I like my place small, so I can find everything quick. Because I need to work, I need to go, and I can't just hang around walking from one room to another, you know. And a small room, you meditate better, more concentration, yeah? And that's why I think many uh, masters or yogis in the past and present, they meditate in caves and all that, you see what I mean? Not because they can't have a home or they don't have temple, but you feel more concentrated, less distraction. And all your things are at your fingertip, you know? You enter a small house, the south is very... Because when we talk to other people, when we look at other things, look at surrounding, we dissipate our energy as well, okay? Mm. Even sometimes, if we just think of someone in our home even, and that person may be a thousand miles away, you could even get hurt by thinking of that person. You know, uh, even for me, one time, you know, just think of one uh, assistant, and he was very heavy, you know. Just thought of him, oh, I wonder what he's doing now, is he okay or not? And then the whole kitchen knife just fly <laughs> onto my leg and hurt here. It's <laughs> like somebody pushed it. You know, you know, you have those uh, kitchen knives, uh, uh, a wooden stand where you stick all the knives in there, the hole, they just fly down and <laughs> land it on some one on my leg, for example, huh? Or, or I will sometimes uh, do things and then too much karma, and I just uh, went up to fix a curtain only, and then I just fell down, you know, <laughs> on top of one dog's after another's. Because they were down there, and then I just fell one from one, and then rode to the other dogs, and yeah, just fell like that, and take the whole curtain with me, <laughs> just like that, you know. And the, the 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 window was high, you know, and I had to step on top of some ladder to do it, and suddenly it just fell like that, like somebody pushed push you. 
It's better just think of the five names all the time. It's protecting you. But I cannot, I cannot always do that. You understand? I do, but then in between, I always think of uh, what else to do. In the same with your family, you have a children, and you have obligation. You cannot just always ignore them, you know. Or you know somebody, or some lover, or something, and you think of them sometimes, and. Immediately the karma is connected, yes. So sometimes you think, okay, why did I have this accident? Why, why this thing happened to me and that thing happened to me? It happens for some reason. Maybe you think too much of someone or some event in the past, yeah? Or maybe the karma in the, from the past catch up with you. Hmm? Okay, nothing accidental in this world. Try to concentrate.